Man, this is wild. Midjourney just came out with a brand new feature that is an absolute game changer. It is so cool and I wanna take you through it in this video. Midjourney just released a feature called Describe. And what Describe allows you to do is upload an image into Midjourney and it will reverse engineer the image and tell you what prompt to use to get something similar and to generate uh, artwork that looks similar to that to what you uploaded. It's absolutely wild and I think it's so cool and I wanna show you how it works right now. Now super quick, if you're not familiar with what Mid Journey is, it is an AI text to image generation software which essentially allows you to type in whatever you want and it will spit out unique art uh, based on what you put in. That's essentially what it is. So let me show you this new describe feature and we'll see if it's any good. I'm here inside the Mid Journey bot and first I think it's important to show you that if you type slash settings and then hit enter, it will actually pop up your personal settings inside Mid Journey. Now this is really useful because you can change the version of Mid Journey. Uh, you can also change whether you want the style to be low, medium, high, or very high. I generally go with medium. And you can also change a few other things in here. There's some cool stuff in here. But I would recommend for this tool that you have, have it set on Mid Journey version 5.1. And again, I generally go with medium style, but you can experiment uh, with some other styles. So how does this describe feature work? Well, all you need to do to use the feature is type slash describe. Now, when you do that and press enter, it's gonna pop up a little box that asks you to upload an image. Now, let's say that you were out on the internet surfing around and you saw something really cool that you might want to sell on a product or you might want to create some art of that style. Now, I'm not saying you wanna copy it, but maybe you wanna do something similar. Maybe you wanna take some inspiration from that and come up with your own design. So let's say I go out to Google search and I search for sunset drawing. Now it's gonna pull up all these amazing images of sunsets and what if I see one that I like and I wanna do something similar? All right, so let's just take any one of these. How about we go with this one right here that looks pretty cool from Pinterest. So we've got an image right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna screenshot this image. This is gonna be for inspiration. So I'm gonna screenshot that part right there, just like that, boom, I'm taking a screenshot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload that screenshot right here into Mid Journey. All right, now that I've got my image uploaded into Mid Journey, I'm gonna hit the enter button and it's going to go through some processing. You can see it says Mid Journey bot is thinking and it's literally going to reverse engineer what prompt I need to put in to get something similar to this. Now you see it's already popped it out. It gives us four different options that we can experiment with. It even gives us the aspect ratio so we can get a wide image. So you're gonna see the first one. A painting of a sunset with palm trees along the water in the style of a child's drawing, colorful drawings, rainbow core, dark yellow and aquamarine, brightly colored birds, AR 53, uh, 27. So what if we just grab that and we just put it into mid journey. So we're gonna type slash imagine and then we're gonna hit enter and then we're gonna paste that in there. So if we just do it like that, we don't make any changes, let's see what we get. Over the last three and a half years, we have helped thousands of students start, grow, and scale profitable online apparel and print-on-demand businesses. If you're looking to either start up a new print-on-demand or apparel business, or you want to grow your existing business, I would encourage you to go watch our free 60-minute masterclass over at shirtschool.com. Inside this free class, I'll break down our three-part system that has helped thousands of people grow their sales over the last few years and can also help you on your journey. I'll also give you some info about our program called Shirt School if you're interested in working with me in a little deeper setting than here on YouTube. So go give that free class a watch over at shirtschool.com. Okay, it's done processing and this is what we got right here. Now look at how beautiful these images are that Mid Journey came out with. Now, although this specific prompt is not specific, it's not exactly like what we're looking for here. We're actually, we're not looking to copy this. We were looking to get something somewhat similar with a similar look and feel. I specifically like this fourth one that I think just looks really beautiful and does have some of the characteristics of that original image. So I have a couple options here. If I like this, I could upscale the image that I want and maybe I could use that for print on demand. I could put it on some wall art and maybe sell it. 
um, or I can choose to regenerate four more images with the same prompt. So maybe if I regenerate it again, maybe I'll get something that's a little closer to what that original drawing looks like. Um, I can also choose to just regenerate based off of one of these. So let's say I like this, my favorites are this third one or fourth one. I could hit V3 and I could actually get four more generations that are a little more similar to that. But overall, I would say this isn't quite close enough to what I got here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try one of these different prompts that they that they came out with here and see if I get something that's a little closer to what I'm looking for. And by the way, while we're waiting for Midjourney to generate that prompt, let me know in the comments if you would like me to create a free PDF that gives you a ton of different prompts you can use in Midjourney to get different styles. I wanna hear down in the comments if you'd like me to create that PDF. Let's say it was 100 prompts that you could use in Midjourney with all different styles and different settings and different words you could use that might help get different generations. Just comment down below and let me know if you'd like me to release that. Our second generation is done and look what we have here. So we actually have some really different looking ones uh, in, this, in this one and probably because of some of the words in here that were in these prompts, we got some different ones, but I still think this fourth one is actually a really cool depiction. Uh, definitely not exactly like or even really close to the old one, but super, super uh, beautiful looking. So I'm gonna try another prompt and see if we can get closer uh, with one of the other prompts. Our fourth generation is done and I think we've hit the nail on the head. These are absolutely beautiful and I think they are the closest to our original drawing that we've been able to get. So if we go back up here and just look at that original drawing, here is what that looks like. And the one I like the most is probably this one in the top right here. I think these are absolutely stunning and some of the prompts were spot on. Now, although we weren't be able to get we weren't able to get it exactly like the old one, that wasn't really the goal. It was really to come up with something new that was just inspired by the old one. And I have played with this a little bit and sometimes it does get shockingly close, which is a little bit crazy. Um, but this is just meant to help you get something similar to get some of those elements. And I think this second one is especially beautiful and something I would consider, you know, putting on a product and maybe selling in a Shopify store. The last thing I want to do just for fun is I want to regenerate four drawings based off that one I like the most and just see if anything interesting comes out of that. So I'm gonna hit on this V2 button and see what happens. All right, here's what we got regenerating from that second one. Wow, these are absolutely stunning. I specifically like this third one because I like that bigger, bolder sun that's kind of shining over the water. So this is probably the one that I will go with. How cool is this new feature? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to the channel. Go out and use this describe feature in Mid Journey and let me know what you think. Let me know what creations you've made with this describe feature in Mid Journey. I think it's super cool and I definitely encourage you to go play with it right now. See you soon.